hello and welcome to another tutorial video based on the sap so in this video we are going to talk about gui script recording so i'm going to cover uh, a following topic like what is gui script recording what is the use of gui script recording and what are the benefits we can get if we use gui script recording and at the end we are going to see the step to how we are going to enable sap gui scripting and also i'll show you one small demo before start please support us by subscribing this channel and also click on the like button this really help us and motivate us on creating more and more video let's start let's let's understand what is sp gui script recording so gui script recording is inbuilt features in sap gui that allow us to record the user interface in sap screens it captures steps such as click buttons enter data and convert that actions into the vv script code so you can use that um, recorded code or a vv script code which generate using the script recording to automate your sap related task this also allow to integrate with other tools and the system so this is very um, uh, helpful and useful uh, options which is present in the sap can help on on automating like you no know, repetitive task now the next point is uses of sap scripting so we can use sap um, scripting to automating repetitive task we can also use sap scripting to uh, like you know connect with external applications such as excel or a database now the benefit of using sap scripting so there are so many benefits like as i said like so no need to write the code right so whenever you enable uh, or start uh, the script recording so it will capture all the actions and the back end it will generate the code and that code you can use to automate your repetitive task which can definitely make your process faster it can reduce the human error and it will be again a cost effective in terms of uh, like you know no need for uh, going for any external tool to automate sap related actions so now let's see how we can use this sap um, gui scripting and how we are going to enable it so let me take you to the sap screen and see that now let's log into the sap and see the steps so let me open sap yeah, once you log into the sap and you have to look for option of uh, the settings okay i am currently using 8.00 version so the setting is available here you have to click here and you can see there will be option called sap recording and playback so generally it will be disabled okay but my case it is already enabled so it is showing as this uh, enabled so what you have to do in case if it is disabled for you so what action you need to perform you have to type a, a transaction code rz11 and here after coming you need to type uh, sap gui underscore user underscore scripting and click on the display button once you click here so by default one when this sap gui script is disabled so this will be marked as false so what you have to do you have to click on the change value and here you have to mark this as a true okay for me my case it's already marked as true so it means it's already enabled from the back end and the admin is already enabled this so i'm not going to make any changes in case if it is disabled for you so you can do it from here after that let me go back to the initial now let's see how we can use the sap um, uh, script recording and uh, we are going to perform on small action to see it so in order to start it you have to come to the settings and here you have to click on the script recording and playback and here we can see like uh, we have options like you know where you want to save this script file what is the encoding uh, type okay and the script file locations it will be here and here we have three options start recording stop recording and the play recording so now let's start and see with the one small example so let me click here now the recording is on so whatever action we are going to perform now if you click somewhere if you type something it will capture and uh, generate the vb code from the backing so let's say i want to open up a screen called va05 and i just want to click here after typing this um, let's say i want to just go back to the initial page now let me stop this recording now so clicking on the stop recording now this recording script is 
created now so let me show you how this script looks like so let me go to the path and open that script now so this is the uh, script which automatically got generated from the sap when we perform the action so you can see here like i have written this va05 then i've clicked on the enter button then i clicked on the go to back option so everything it got captured so this is very simple and straight way to getting the code generated if you want to pass this value from the variable so that can be also done or if you want to apply any other conditions or exceptional handling so that can be done from here uh, as well now let me close this and again i'm going to the sap now let's test this whether it is running or not so let me minimize this and let's run this okay so when you run sap script it will prompt you uh, this box like you know, a script is attempting to access the sap gui so you have to click here on ok button and also we can disable this option so let me click on the ok and see so we can see like the script is running too fast it opened the va05 code and again it go back right now let's disable that pop-up so in order to do that you have to go to the option and inside option we can see accessibility and the scripting and you have to come to the scripting and you have to remove these two uh, check boxes you click on the apply and the ok now if you run this script it won't prompt you for that box so let's see that okay so this runs so fast and uh, without uh, having that prompt box so by this way we can create a small uh, script that's all from this video if you need uh, a sap server license for practice or training purpose so you can contact us we can provide you the sap uh, license which you can use for training and practice purpose i hope this video is helpful Thank you for watching this.